Hoosha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back from Treasure Cup two weekends in a row and two weekends in Tokyo before that. So I finally get a, mo- a weekend to stay home after a month so I can work on new cards. My website, Kaizoku Cards, is almost live. I'm going to launch it tomorrow. There's a password to get in right now, but you can find that on my social channels. Anyway, all the cards I've been posting on my shorts, they're all gonna be for sale, you can find them. There was a project I've been teasing for a long time and getting really excited about, but some sequence of events made it so that it's not something I'm doing anymore, so I'm just putting them all up on my site so you can check them out there. Um, I just wanna do a recap of my experience at Treasure Cup. Overall, they were completely awesome. I met so many new people, I had so much fun. In Long Beach, I decided to play Red Green Luffy because it's a deck that I've really never played before um, and I just wanted to try it out and have fun at that weekend because I felt like I haven't really been practicing, wanted to see what the competitive scene was like and really focus on just like making friends and having a good time. So I played Red Green Luffy. I managed to play the first ever streamed match of One Piece card game in the United States. It's on the Stage Zero channel and I managed to get that game, which was good. It was a really, really good game. And I had a lot of fun playing the deck. I managed to go four and five, I think, in Long Beach, um, but really fun, interactive, enjoyable games. And in Miami, I took Red Luffy because I've been playing that deck since before the game even came out. I saw a bunch of decks topped. I took some ideas from the different decks and tuned a version of my deck. There's one change I would have made that I wish I made, or that I wish I didn't made. I made it last minute, which is generally a bad idea. If you've tested something and it does well, don't make last minute decisions about changing stuff. I swapped one of my five cost Luffy's out for a second Diablo Jamba, which was just bad. Um, there was one game where I, I had a Diablo Jamba in hand, I top decked my second Diablo Jamba, and if that was the Luffy, I would have had the game, but that's just what it is sometimes. So that deck change I would have made. The other thing that I would caution players about um, is, you know, in One Piece, the prize cards are insanely valuable. There's crazy, crazy value on these things, right? If you get top 64, you get a chopper that's worth like $800. I come from Dragon Ball and the prizing wasn't quite as valuable. So um, I don't think there's as much in the line. And I don't want to name drop or call anybody out, but I think that cheating is relatively easy in this game. And my advice to you would just be watch your opponents really carefully. You know, count Dawn, um, confirm where attacks are being directed, make sure that things are being done in the right sequence and order. Just I know it's hard after playing nine rounds in a day, but you gotta kind of watch your opponents because there's more on the line with this game and um, it's really unfortunate when people do cheat and I can't confirm or deny if anybody did. I just have some speculations about some kind of sketchy stuff that happened. But basically my match breakdown in uh, Miami was five starter Luffy's, two Law, one Kid, and I think that's eight. I don't remember what, the, maybe it was six starter Luffy's. I played a lot of the mirror match. Um, but for the most part, really, really fun, enjoyable games. I had a really, really fun opponent in the first round. Um, it was actually the first time I ever played a girl and she played really well. Um, I managed to get the game with uh, Nami. I swung 8K for Nami for game that was fun. And we had a lot of fun. All my opponents that I beat, I gave them a card or a coin or something and you know, made sure that we became friends and um, the people even that beat me, I gave them stuff if I had a good time playing the game. When I don't, when I feel like something sketchy happened, I wasn't as generally as stoked to uh, give away my treasure. But anyway, that's kind of my recap of the event. I met so many cool people. When I was in Miami, there was just one dude who's like a travel vlogger. And he came up to me and he was like, yo, like you said, if we see you to like come up and take a picture. And this dude was dressed like the most dripped out ace ever. I posted some pictures of him in my story. He's wearing like this sweet ass, like knit cardigan thing that was like open. He was like super buff and he had like this dope ace hat on and just like the whole ace outfit. And it was like the perfect opportunity for me to ace, doko da, doko da ace. So he got some really good content of that. I'll probably throw that video up at the end of this one if you watch the whole thing. Um, but it was really, really fun. I came back early because it's Super Bowl today. My dad's a really big Eagles fan. I wanted to watch the game with him. So I'm back in New Jersey, finally. And um, yeah, so anybody, I get this a lot that people are like, whoa, you're way taller in person. So in my videos, I like angle the camera down so I look kind of small. But then when I'm in person, I'm kind of taller and I feel like it makes me look like more of a One Piece character. So. That's why I do that. If you're watching this video, you know that secret now. Anyway, um, I have some, I haven't opened my participation packs. I wanted to share them with you guys. I'm hoping to get Ace and Jinbei are my top picks. So let's strip them these packs, see what we get. Hopefully an Ace and a Jinbei would be really cool. I only got two. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, Miami, I went four and five, but I think I could have gone 
X2 would have been a little more realistic. If my deck was tuned properly, I think I could have potentially gone farther in the distance. But um, the competition was really good. Overall, the day was really fun. Made a ton of friends, got to DJ last night at a bar. But let's see what's in these packs. I don't even know, is it, I think it's one card per pack. Come on, Ace. Ace, do Oh, Jimbe, yes, yes. Okay, so Ace and Jimbe are the ones that I'm really looking for. That's value. This is a card I'll actually play, so that's exciting. Ace, I just want to collect, but there's four packs total here, and I this is my first time ever opening any of these. Sengoku, I think that is. Yeah. Wow, these look pretty good. They're not textured, but I'm glad that they're foil, because the pro, pro, you know the uh, tournament packs were not foil, and that was kind of a little bit of a bummer. But <laughs> Uta, Uta, is that Uta? Yeah, that's a nice looking card. The art on this looks great. I'm very happy about that. And we got one pack left. One more chance at Ace. Ace, that's good day, yo. Dogoda. Dogoda Ace. That's not Ace. That's definitely not Ace. Who is that? Who is that there? Oh, another Sengoku. Double Sengoku. All right. Well, that's how that goes. I think that card's actually pretty value. But um, yeah, I got Jinbei, so that's cool. I uh, would love to pull an Ace somehow. I don't know where these packs are going to be at next. But... I wanted to talk a little bit about my card shop. So Kaizoku Cards is the name of the website. There will be a link in the description below. I'm officially opening it tomorrow. I'm gonna have all my cards up there, all my Zaiho, all my treasure. If you don't know how it works, the cards I make are full art prints and then I print the text for leaders on cases. So if you wanna play the card as a leader, you can buy the case with the card and then you can put a legal copy of the card in the back side of the case, just flip it around. And that way when you're playing, if your opponent um, doesn't want you to use a custom card, you can ask them politely if they'd rather look at the other one and ask them if you can flip it over. I'm not gonna talk about what I did because you know, you're not supposed to use custom cards in tournament settings and stuff, but it's really on your opponent. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, lots of really, really good uh, players. I think the competition for this game is great. Even like when I was X2, X3, like the players I was getting paired down to, they were really fantastic players. Um, people are good at this game and it's a really good game and all the games are like super, super close. So um, I definitely didn't practice enough. I put in one night of testing to kind of tune my deck and I needed more time than that. So in the future, I'll definitely put more time into uh, figuring out my deck if I want to perform well. I think in, when regionals come up, that's something that I want to do if I can manage to get into any. Um, hopefully Bandai puts on more events because there's so much appeal and interest for this game. So I'm really hoping that there is more accessibility to play in a competitive scene because it's so much fun going to these events and meeting people, making friends. Um, I just had such an insanely fantastic time and I'm so grateful to all the people that are so supportive and kind um, to me and have such nice things to say. It's really, really awesome to feel that support. Um, and people really like the cards I've been making, so that's been cool too. They definitely look a lot cooler in person. I wish I could translate it through video and pictures, but I just can't. Um, anyway, thanks for checking this out. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, let's do another anatomy one. I like anatomy. Uh, the canine is tooth number six. Six is my lucky number. I was born on six, six. I really like the number six. So the canine is my favorite tooth. This canine in particular is your upper right canine. And the canine's a really cool tooth because it's actually the longest tooth in the mouth. And it's almost like a, like a cornerstone of the archway of your mouth. They're like keystones. They kind of like, that's where the arch of your mouth transitions. And it's a, it's a cool tooth in terms of an evolutionary sense and what it means and what it's related to. So tooth number six, my favorite tooth, longest tooth in the mouth, the canine. But my number six is actually a little shorter than my number 11 because I used to bite my fingernails, which is not good. You shouldn't bite your fingernails. I'll do a dental tooth tip on that sometime too. Anyway, thank you, gozaimasu. Thanks for checking this out. Um, those are some great pulls. I'm glad I got Jinbei. I'd love to pull an ace one day, but es, dokoda? I can keep saying that until I get one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Es, das geht, es, oh my god, es, es, Aniki, ja!